Hello guys, welcome back to another episode of Android application tutorial. In today's episode, we are going to learn about how to create an expandable list view in an Android application. So, this is our target application. So, this application contain this activity actually contain an expandable list view so here there are four titles are available some movie categories comedy movies romantic horror and action movies list are available so by expanding this you can see some subcategories under the main category here uh, these are some comedy movies title uh, also you can collapse the list so here this is an expandable list view. So this is our target application. So in this episode, I am going to create this application. I'm going to demonstrate how to create an application like this. So that is our target. So in Eclipse, I already created a project called expandable list view demo. Uh, this is the main activity.xml file. So the first step is to we have to add an expandable list view to the activity main.xml file. That is our first step. Okay, now I made some changes to the activity main.xml file. Here I changed the layout height into match parent, width into wrap content, and uh, padding left into 60 dp padding right 60 dp and padding top 60 dp also padding bottom is also 60 dp and here also i add an expandable list view and provide an id for the list view called exp list and provide the layout height into match parent layout width is also match parent and here uh, indicator left is into android attribute expandable list preferred item indicator left okay and also provide a color for the divider this is actually an html color code this is the color for the divider you can see it on the layout uh, this this is the divider so uh, that is the exp that is the html color code for this particular color and also provide a height for the divider so divider height into 0 dp okay so now finish the coding on the activity main.xml file okay now we need to create another two xml file the first one is for the uh, group so i will explain on the layout so this is another layout each of this one under layout and the expander list is under layout so we need to create two xml file for this so that is our next step so now i am going to create another xml file so right click the layout folder and choose the new option and choose another android xml file i name the file as parent 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 layout and click finish okay now we got another xml file here also we need to add a text view into this xml file now i am going to make some changes on this xml file i am going to add a text view for displaying the title here on the parent layout.xml file okay now i made some changes on the parent layout.xml file i changed the width into match parent layout height into match parent also make the orientation vertical okay also i add a text view here uh, with it parent txt and change the width into fill parent height into wrap content and set padding left into android attribute expandable expandable list preferred item padding left okay also provide a text color this is the this is also an html color code this is for uh, this attribute is for setting the font color and make the padding top into 10 dp and also make the padding bottom into 10 dp okay so now we need another xml file for the subcategory so here i am going to create another xml file so right click the layout folder again and choose the new option and android xml file 
I name the file as child child layout and click finish now we got another XML file also here also uh, we need to add a text view and also we need to change something here now I am going to make the changes okay now I complete the changes on the child layout.xml uh, here change the width into match parent layout height into wrap content and orientation is vertical and here I add a text view with id child ID, child txt and the width is fill parent height wrap content and set the padding left into android attribute expandable list preferred child padding left okay and padding top into 10 dp padding bottom into 10 dp okay now we complete all the layout file for this application now we need to we need to add some variables on the main activity.java file so go to the main activity.java file here we need to declare some variables first one we we need a hash map variable so here i'm going to declare a hash map variable hash map provide the key set as a string and here we need a list of string type okay and provide a variable name for the hash map here i make the variable name as movies category movies category okay just make a hash map variable declare a hash map map variable and we need a list here so list of type string and I name the variable as movies list okay also we need, we, we need to we need an object of the expandable list view so expandable list view I name it as exp list okay so now we need to initialize all this available before that we need to create another Java class we need to create a class that providing the data the data for the application so now I am going to create a Java class so go to the SRC folder right click the package and choose the new option and new Java class I name the class as data data provider okay and click finish so we got a new Java class here so here I am going to define a method that will return some that will provide some data for this application so uh, public public static the return type for this method is a hash map so we have to specify the return type as hash map of string and here is the list that list contain string values and I name the method as get info okay so this is a simple method called get info the return type for this method is hash map so here in this method I have to create two variables I have to create a hash map variable so here I am going to declare a hash map variable hash map of string type and list okay and I name the variable as movies details movies details equal to new hash map
new hash map of string and uh, list of integer type okay so I just declare a hash map variable here called movie details now I am going to declare here in this application there are four movie categories so we need four list here so I declare the first list list of string type and name the variable as first category is action action movies first category is action movies and the second category is romantic movies romantic movies third category is uh, some horror movies horror movies and the fourth category is comedy movies so list string fourth category is some comedy movies comedy okay so I just declare a hash map variable and also I declare for list variables here so now I need to I, I have to add some movies movie names into this list now I am going to do that so okay before going to add the movies list into these variables we have to initialize these variables is new array list of string type okay here we need to provide some function brackets okay so this is also same new new array list new array list of string type equal to new new array list of string type okay now I am going to add some movie names into this list okay uh, now here in this uh, in this method I add some movies to the list to the list uh, on the first list uh, I add some action movies using the add method on the second list on called romantic movies I add some uh, romantic movies titles and on the third horror movies also I add some horror movies title and on comedy movies list I add some comedy movies title okay now finally we need to add all these list to the hash map variable so here the hash map variable name is uh, movies details so here I'm going to add all these list into the hash map so movies details dot there is a method called put first you need to provide a key set key for the list uh, so the first list we are going to add is the action movies so I pop I put the key as action movies okay and here the value is the list view for action movies so here the list view is action movies so the second list is movies details dot put second is romantic movies romantic movies and add the list here that list name is romantic movies third one is horror movies so movies details dot put here the key is horror movies and the list name is horror movies and the final one is comedy movies movies details dot put key is comedy comedy movies 
and the value is that list called comedy movies comedy movies okay so now we initialize all the list and we add all the list to the hash map now we can return this hash map so return return movies details okay so when you finish the coding here so we just create a class called the data provider in that class we define a method called get info the return type of that particular method is a hash map and in this method i declare available hash map available and i declare three four listers for list and on the first array list i add some action movies title on the second second array list some romantic movies title horror movies title and comedy movies title on the fourth array list finally i add all the array list into the hash map and finally i return the hash map okay so now go to the main activity.java file here we already declare a hash map variable and a list also we already uh, define an expandable list view object here okay so now we need to uh, initialize all these objects so the first one is expandable list sorry that object name is exp list equal to find view by id r dot id dot exp list okay so this is an object we need to cast it into expandable list view okay so the second variable is the hash map variable we have to uh, initialize that hash map variable so movies category movies category equal to i'm going to call that method in the class called data provider so data provider data provider it's a static method so we can call that method using the class name that method name is get info so we got the hash map from that method on this variable called the movie category okay also there is a array list we have to declare we have to initialize that array list also okay so the array list name is ex that is the what is array list name okay that array list name is movies list so movies movies list equal to new new array list of string type and here we have to get the key set from the hash map so here the hash map is hash map variable name is movies category movies movies category dot there is a method called the key set so by using this method we can get all the uh, all the key set from the hash map so here on this list we will get values like uh, values like action movies romantic movies horror movies and comedy movies that is the value got on this list view so on the movie list okay so now we have to declare we have to create an adapter class for this expandable list view that is the next step so right click the package and create a new java class i name the class as movies adapter i name the class as movies adapter and click finish